So today's video, how to get enough fuel or carbs when you're um, exercising a lot. So <clears throat> take it from me, when you're riding two, three hours a day, how even one hour a day, you must be fueling whilst you're riding, whether you're going to have four or five gels an hour or you're going to take, you know, grandma's cookies with you, <laughs> whatever, right? Like have some fuel whilst you're riding or running or, you know, or if, if you don't like having the fuel whilst you're doing it, you're going to have, you're going to set yourself up for a huge deficit because at the end of the day, our stomachs can only fit so much food. Um, this is where I fell foul. I was doing the, well, I'd say not 100% whole, whole foods, but I was doing like mostly whole foods and I was out doing Deliveroo. So I was probably burning, I don't know, I was doing it for like five hours a day. So I was probably burning at least like 600 calories an hour for five hours, right? Oh, sorry. And that, and I used to have to ride half an hour there and half an hour back. So basically riding six hours a day. Um, and there was very little like breaks and things like that. There was a couple of 10, 10 minute waits and two minute waits and things like that in restaurants. But at the end of the day, you kind of heart's elevated because you, you're in the zone. And you ever like stood there in a restaurant, like waiting for the food or you know, you're on your way to the next, you're on your way to the customer. Um, but obviously it wasn't just this for me. You know, I was doing days where I was doing four hour rides and things like that. And I remember taking like some potatoes with me and I remember taking some apples and because, you know, it's purely based on my stomach. It's like, I've eaten like three potatoes and an apple. And, you know, obviously I don't want to fill my belly too much because I'm cycling. So it's like, that's enough, but that's only like maybe 500 calories. And I've literally just burned that last hour. And I'm now full for the next three hours, right? So um, I fell foul on this, like I said, and I, um, I ended up getting post-starvation obesity through this. You know, I, I'm 98 kilos now. And essentially what happened to me is I never restricted my calories ever, right? Up until recently, because I thought, shit, this is all, all I can do. And I just kept kept gaining the weight. And I was thinking, shit. Why am I gaining all this weight? Like, what's going on? Have I have I have I fucked something up? Have I damaged my thyroid? Have I got like low testosterone? I don't know, right? So I was thinking about all these kind of things. I was thinking like, was I eating the wrong wrong foods? But I was like, no, I've been eating like whole foods, been eating like super healthy, like high fruit, things like that. And anyway, it just kind of dawned on me. I either watched a video or, or something, and it just kind of like clicked. And I thought, shit. Maybe I've, I'm suffering from the kind of shit that anorexics suffer from, you know, like the whole like metabolic damage, adaptive thermogenesis, post-starvation, obesity, like however you want to call it. But basically, um, I was doing Deliveroo last, last summer and as soon as I stopped doing Deliveroo, bam, came on the pounds. They just flew on and I, my appetite, of, of course, my appetite didn't go up. Um, because, you know, I was doing less exercise. My appetite either stayed the same or, or whatever. And I never restricted at meals. I always ate until I was full. And if I ate my meal and I was still like, mm, I'm kind of hungry, I would, I would like make a little bowl of oatmeal or, you know, I'd make something or whatever. I'd have some kind of snack to, to like make me satisfied. I never, I never went to bed hungry. I never, you know, skipped meals, things like that in the recent years. And the weight just kept coming on. So at the end of the day, if you want to, you know, fuel a busy activity, um, my, my best recommendation, you know, and other people recommend this too, is that you take some, some gels with you, some, I don't know, some kind of energy bars, preferably not like full of caffeine energy bars, because that's fake energy. You don't want that. But at the end of the day, something like um, even just sugar water, just sugar, just, just pour 100 grams into your water bottle, uh, pour in like half a lemon, half a lemon juice or something like that to give it a little bit of flavor, make it a little bit more like lemonade versus sweet water. <laughs> That's what I always do. I don't ever have it without lemon. Um, lemon's also good for your teeth as well. Um, but always as well, take a, a bottle of... Um, just plain water so you can as soon as you've drank the sugar water you can swill and i always like to sort of swill 
it around my mouth and it sort of washes all of the sugar and things like that off. And then, you know, I, cu I come, I carry on riding. And then every 20 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes, I even have a timer on my, um, on my Garmin, actually. It beeps every 15 minutes. That was originally to tell me to drink. But now, drinking, you know, I'm drinking the sugar. So definitely uh, 100 grams per of sugar per hour on the bike, I would recommend. Your body can't really absorb too much more than that. Um, but better for you to have sweet pea uh, than uh, be under fuel, right? I mean, if you give your body as much as you can, as much as it can, and it will take that. And then if you've if you've burned two thousand calories on the bike, but you've consumed twelve hundred calories, right? At least, at least you're not you, you're not in a mine, you're not in a severe minus. So then, yeah, okay, you can have a little bit of extra, a, a, a cup or two of extra white rice or something, you know, and you can you can do that. Whereas if you come home fasted like I used to do, or you haven't had much fuel, or you've just had two gels an hour, you know, or, or three, and you, you know you need more than that because each gel is like 25 grams, right, or even 20, some of them, and you need you need four four gels minimum an hour i'd say four or five um who wants to pay that as well right gels i mean it's just a sugar it's just a sugar gel when you can just put sugar in your water bowl it's 50 cents a kilo kind of thing so um yeah i definitely recommend uh put sugar in your water if you don't like that find another way of getting it in um i really can't think of it uh, maltodextrin um, you can put maltodextrin in your water. Um, it doesn't really have any flavor, so maybe add some kind of flavor to it. Uh, you can use that, and it's not sweet. It's just like kind of like a potato starch or something. Um, so yeah, ju just just put put some kind of fuel in your in your water bottle as you ride it, and then yeah, you'll lessen the um, you'll lessen the you know you'll lessen the negative. Uh, calorie effects and you know for, for these people out there who are thinking yeah i'm going out and i'm just going to burn burn all the fat it's like you still burn carbohydrates you know even if you have got lots of fat to burn you still burn carbohydrates and your body still needs to replenish them and you're still going to be in a huge deficit and your body's going to be like wait a minute <laughs> what's happened here so yeah just just want to get the message out there with this like don't make my mistake fuel well when you when you're doing your rides even if you think oh, it's just a zone two take some fuel with you if you don't if you don't need to drink or take less fuel with you take 50 grams whatever but just take some fuel with you when you're riding you know or running or i mean if it's a 30 minute run don't worry about it just you know have a little have a a, a little apple or whatever before you go and then come back and you know have your breakfast kind of thing but if you're going to be out an hour plus or just an hour I'd say take some take some fuel with you. 100 grams of sugar, um, or 100 grams of maltodextrin. You know, some lemon, lime, maybe some orange juice. Ho however you however you want to drink it, or maybe even just have juice. You know, if you if you just want to have um, juice whilst you're riding along, at least it's you know at least it's got some some calories in, right? So do something like that, um, and it's definitely going to lessen any. Uh, sit I mean, I used to come back right, and I was so grumpy. Like, I was just like, oh, I'm so hungry kind of thing. And, you know, I felt down. I felt miserable. My legs felt empty. Now I'm coming back from rides. And, you know, I've had my 100 grams of sugar per hour. And, you know, I'm coming back and I'm smiling and I'm cheerful. And, you know, I'm not even hungry for breakfast because it's like I've I've already, you know, I've already essentially, usually when I come back, I've already eaten 800 to, I don't know, 1,200 calories, you know, from carbs. Um, so I'm already feeling like, wow, you know, I feel fine. <laughs> I'm already in two, two or three hundred grams of carbs and I'm not coming back with a serious deficit, but then I'm thinking, wow, well, I should eat now anyway, you know, cause it's breakfast time. And, uh, yeah, so I, I make myself some food. I find that I don't eat as much food, food, um, you know, the actual whole foods now cause I've got the sugar. Well, at least for breakfast. But so at the end of the day, it's not even like you can eat too much because my body knows that I've already put the sugar in. So when I come to have breakfast, I've already had 300, 200 or 300 grams of carbs, depending on my activity. And my body's not like, yeah, let, let's have too much more. So, yeah, um, at the end of the day, 
just uh, just make sure you take some fuel on rides so important if you don't want to blow out later on you know uh, get some kind of post starvation obesity going on like I've got going on right now uh, hopefully it's not gonna last too long I'm making sure that I'm eating really well I'm fueling really well so hopefully uh, I'm exercising well as well but not not too much um, so yeah hopefully it's gonna go away soon <laughs> You know, but um, at the end of the day, I just want to get this message out there to everyone. You know, don't do fasted rides. It's a sure, surefire way to, yeah, get short term results. But at the end of the day, you're going to blow out and you're going to you're going to fuck up your hormones, your thyroid. And then you're going to end up bigger than probably when you started. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think to this video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below your favorite fuel for a ride. And uh, see you in the next video, everyone.